solid, that's for sure. See how this Duramax performs, whoa! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing a 2023 Chevy Tahoe Premier with the Duramax Diesel. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this Tahoe. I'm going to put a link to their website in the description down below. You can check out this and the rest of their inventory. Something that's awesome about the Chevy here in Murray is they do not charge any markups over MSRP whatsoever. So if you want a great deal on the new Chevy product, they're definitely the deal you're going to want to go to. If you have any questions, just ask for Nick and Gage. They'll be more than happy to help you out and then on a side note if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car link to my car buying guide in the description down below let's get into it Under the hood, we have a three liter turbocharged inline six diesel known as the baby Duramax, or at least that's what I call it. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 20 around town and then 26 on the highway with power outputs being 277 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of this Tahoe. So first off, you guys can see the distinctive lines and curves there on the hood for the Tahoe. And then coming down below, we've got the LED headlamps with the daytime running light. And then notice all of the chrome accenting here on the front grille. And we also have a camera there just down below the Chevy bow tie. Parking sensors integrated onto the front end and then more chrome trim there at the very bottom. And there's the front. Coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 275, 50, 22 in the front and in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheel design how it's all blacked out. I think that looks really cool. And then here's a quick look at the front suspension. And then we don't have fender flares or anything like that, but it looks pretty cool with the molding. We have our Tahoe badge, chrome mirror, and then notice there's some chrome trim around the door handles and then also the window as well. And there's your side view. So here's our key fob for this Tahoe. We got the Chevy bow tie there on the back. We have our unlock function or lock function, remote start, the opening for the hatch and the opening for just the window. We're gonna do the uh, hatch for today's video. So you guys can see that pops right open. And notice we got these nice metallic plaques on either side. Decent storage space underneath. Now this is pretty cool. So you guys can see the third rows folded down. I can press these buttons and this will lower, or not lower, raise them back up rather. So you guys can see what the storage space is like with the third row up. You do have to manually lift the headrests up yourself if you guys are wondering. Second row, um, you can only throw it down. You can't raise it up automatically. And then we have full power outlet here in the back. And aside from that, just got to press that little thing. There's the rear. So we have a payload capacity of 1,471 pounds and a towing capacity of 8,000 pounds with the Duramax diesel. So you guys can see we've got more chrome trim here with the Tahoe logo. And then down below, you guys can see we got the Duramax badge, Premier badge, and we have our cool Tahoe taillights that are kind of like half of the Chevy logo, which is fun. Parking sensors there at the bottom, bezel that covers up the receiver hitch, and that's the rest of the rear. Now here's the rear door panel. You can see we've got nice padding and stitching here at the top and then notice with the wood trim and then down below it's actually perforated across which is pretty fun. One of the speakers for the Bose sound system, power steps. And then here are the seats. Notice perforated in the center, really nice piping and stitching all throughout. And then you can see with the seat adjustments and then we're gonna pop in quickly. Ooh, leg room. And then headroom. And then you guys can see with the little storage pocket, we've got some cup holders right there. And then down below, we've got our controls for the climate system, heated seats as well. And then notice with this all the way folded down, kind of how that looks. And then the third row, you can very comfortably fit adults back there. And notice we have this little button here for the seat. There is ventilation all throughout on the top, outside of the front. Now here's the front door panel. You can see with the stitching again at the top and then notice the wood trim down below. There you go. Lighting's kind of bad today. And then all of our leather trim here and then perforated on this portion. All of the window controls here, it does have memory seats. Front two windows are automatic. You can power fold in the mirrors. They also have blind spot monitoring. Then we have another Chevrolet logo right there. And then here's the front seat. Then you guys can see perforated in the center portion. And then notice all of our seat adjustments. Pedal layout down below. And we have our light controls right here. And then this is for our drive mode select and then our drive line select. So this has four wheel auto, two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low. Parking brake right here. 
lane departure, stability control, that's for your parking sensors, your hill descent control, auto stop start, and then that's for the camera system, pop it on, adjustment for the heads up display, and then that is your steering wheel adjustment, which is power. Let's pop in. So here is our steering wheel for the Tahoe. You guys can see really nice leather trim all around. We have our darker stitching in the center and then notice the kind of like gray trim here. Heated steering wheel control and then this does have cruise control as well. Voice command, phone controls on the other side and then controls for the center stack. There are radio controls there on the back of the steering wheel. And then we have our turn signal slash windshield wiper stock and there you go. So here is the center gauge cluster, full digital gauge cluster here with the new Tahoe. I can scroll through some different menus there in the center to go through different bits of info. But the cool stuff is the drive modes actually. So we've got a sport mode, notice it shows a little graphic there off to the side. And we have our off-road mode. And we finally have a towing mode, which shows with the trailer and it automatically turns on the diesel exhaust brake, which is pretty fun. But there's the center. Now here is the infotainment screen. First off, if we pop it into reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you guys can see all of the different camera viewpoints here, even out of the side. Yeah, that's crazy. You can see out of every single angle, which is fantastic. Now as for the rest of the screen, it has a shortcut bar here on the side, and then you got the main screen with really good response time. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And other than that, I mean, it's a screen. You can also control the climate system from the screen too, if you want. We have our transmission selector here with our buttons and tabs and everything. And yeah, it's kind of uh, interesting to see at least. This is if you want to manually shift. We've got nice padding here with some vents and then notice more of that perfect leather. And we have a random storage cubby too, off to the side, which has always been interesting to me. Analog controls for the radio down below. And then we've got our analog controls here for the climate system, dual zone climate system, heated and cooled seats, wireless phone charging pad with more little charging ports, a couple of cup holders, and then here's the center console, and then you guys can see here with like the little phone holder on the top, and then again perforated there. And then notice that's all over the dash and then the wood trim. So really nice material use all throughout, like everything's covered surface-wise. Pretty normal glove box. And we of course have the camera mirror, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. And then this does have a panoramic sunroof as well, you got the controls for the center on either side. There you go. So here's our window sticker for this 2023 Tahoe Premier. You guys can see we've got a three or 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, and then a five year 100,000 mile on the powertrain. Now notice this has the Magna Ride and then the mechanical limited slip differential as standard, and then also the two speed transfer case as well. But anyways, after, well, here you go if you guys wanna read everything else. After all standard equipment, it starts at $69,300. And then we have some options, including the wheels, which are $3,200. Wow, that is crazy. Um, yeah. After all other options and credits, $80,180 is the total MSRP. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and hopefully you guys can now see the heads up display. It shows info like speed, for example, you know, the drive line select you're in right now. So we're in two wheel drive and like your pitch and roll, funny enough. Both of the mirrors and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. off in the 2023 Chevy Tahoe with the Duramax. And I'm a huge fan of this powertrain <laughs> and Ram just recently recently announced that they are getting rid of this, uh, not this powertrain, but a similar powertrain to this, the Eco Diesel out of their pickup trucks. And so it looks like Chevy is about to have like diesel dominance in the, uh, I guess like half ton truck slash half ton SUV world, which is, I don't know, pretty cool, right? So first off, ride quality is really good. Uh, that's one of the things that's awesome about the Magna Ride uh, setup is it just lends to a really smooth ride. Now this doesn't have the air suspension that would like elevate things even more, but just with this standard setup, it, you know, it has the luxury car feel to it. And the one thing they do with the Tahoes and Suburbans is they actually give it uh, them both independent rear suspension. So this handles quite a bit better compared to the Silverado half ton 
for example, just because of the independent rear suspension and it just feels a bit smoother. Also, I put the camera on just to be funny and it's still on. Like it doesn't turn off when you go at higher speeds, which is pretty cool because most camera systems like turn off at higher speeds. So that's like cool that you can have it up all the time if you want. Um, but yeah, I'll get back to you once I get out of this traffic garbage. So we're going over the train tracks. See how the suspension feels over that. Solid, that's for sure. See how this Duramax performs. Whoa! <laughs> that's punchy. That is punchy. That's the thing that I love about these small diesels is, yeah, they don't have the crazy horsepower and torque figures of, you know, the diesels you see in the big heavy duty trucks, but I mean, 460 pound feet of torque is still quite substantial, especially in an SUV of this size. Like this, I mean, this is a big SUV, but like, you know, it, it's not like the size of a half ton truck, for example, it's slightly smaller, slightly lighter. So yeah, it, it, it moves it. That is for sure. That is fun. This is, this is a fun powertrain. So let's get into setting things up. So first off, Tahoe Premier, let's talk about that. Um, I, th I think this is a great package, right? It gives you all the luxury features and uh, tech features. Obviously not everything is standard, but with how this is set up and also that's so weird, look at the camera. Um, but yeah, with all the features this has, it, it's it's awesome. It's, it's loaded up, it's got everything. And then, you know, from a ride quality standpoint, driving standpoint, and like all that seat comfort and everything is actually pretty good. Now these seats are a little bit on the uh, firmer side, but I, I like them because it like keeps me into like a nice upright seating position. And then, you know, in terms of the diesel uh, side of things, which, you know, it's kind of a big part of this video, this engine is just amazing. And I think that's why Chevy's keeping the Duramax and they're actually updating the Duramax for the 23 model year for the half ton trucks. They're actually getting increased power. Um, so this, you know, you guys heard 277, 460. The half ton trucks for 23 are gonna have 305 horsepower out of this powertrain, new new version, this powertrain, and then like 495 pound feet of torque. And so it shows, you know, GM's commitment to this powertrain. And so like, you know, there isn't really anything that I can compare this to because uh, Toyota, you know, Ford, um, you know, Stellantis with the Jeep Wagoneer, like none of them have a powertrain like this. So if you want a full size SUV with a diesel in the US, this is pretty much your only option. and it's it's a solid option especially like in this premier configuration now the configuration that i personally would do and i'm not sure if you can get this but i'm guessing you can is a z71 tahoe with the duramax that's cool let me know what you guys think about this that's gonna sum things up with our video on this tahoe with the duramax diesel again a huge shout out and thank you to the larry Miller chevy here in murray for giving me some time with this tahoe like i said if you want a great deal on any of the new chevy product definitely reach out to them ask for nick or gauge with any questions i'll see you